Hey, all my beautiful people. Crystal here. Sea Lock Candles and Soaps. And we are doing a soap today. Excited. Yay. Love the soap. I'm goofy, I know. And I'm sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. But I'm losing it for some reason. I think it's because I'm yelling at my kids so much. Ha. Yes, it is. Uh, but my hard. voice is going out on me. Uh, but I still got it a little bit. But it's starting to go out. Alright, in our bowl is my uh, my oatmeal and my kaolin clay. And I am doing half and half with goat's milk. Here's my goat's milk. And it's 100% all natural from the Tata goat's milk. It's not the fake stuff, it's the good stuff. So I've got half of the water and all of the lye. And then the other half in goat's milk. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my goat's milk first. Okay, I can't walk on my toe. Can you get down, please? So, in with the goat's milk. We do. And I'm actually going today to go get more goat's milk because I'm out. And she. So, I got me and my daughter. We're going to drive to Blountville, which I'm sure you guys don't know where that's at, but it's about an hour away. Wait, what? I'm just mixing it to where I don't see any more oils or anything floating on the top, but it's good and mixed in. Okay, so now in with our uh, lye, in with the lye and then the fragrance. So let's get this in here and then you guys know I rinse my bottle out. Hey, come on now. And if you hear me get on to my kids throughout this video, just don't mind them. They're driving me nuts. Summertime is like the craziest time around my house. <laughs> they always act a fool. They don't know how to act right. They yell, they scream, they fight, they uh, all that good stuff. All right, so there's our fr um, lye. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance. And what we're doing today is called Pink Sangria. It smells really good. I am a sucker for anything with a sangria scent. I love sangria. I actually like to drink sangria too, but I love the scent of sangria. It smells so good. Alright, that's good and emulsified. And the last couple times I have done my soap, I have tried to do a tiger stripe, but my batter has been too loose. So hopefully I can do my tiger stripe today. And I'll, oh, you know what, guys? I forgot to add my glycerin and my super fat, my extra super fat. So let me do that real quick. So in with our glycerin. There's our glycerin and then our extra super fat. And I'm super fatty with mango butter. Mango butter adds to the um, conditioning factor and it also adds to the hardness of the bar. And I only add an extra ounce per uh, six pound batch. Five pound for the um, soap and then a pound and a half for the piping. Looks 
got a mix. And I'll probably fast forward this part for you guys. I know you don't want to see me pouring this, but now I'm going to give them all a good stir so we can get the bubbles out. We don't want any bubbles. So I use this one for the blue. So I'm going to stir up the blue. I love you, baby. We might be able to do a tiger stripe. It might be a little bit too thick, but I think I'll be able to do it. guys let me get my mold and let's get started
That looks good. What? See, I was bound and determined to get a tiger stripe, y'all. So let's clean up my. This, I swear, these wooden molds get so dirty. Like, really dirty. And I gotta scrape the soap off of it to get it clean again. But they still stay dirty. And this is dirty. Alright, let me check on my piping here. Looks like it's about ready. Alright guys, so I'm going to go get my piping bags and my tips. And I'm going to get everything ready and we'll be back. So stay tuned. We're back. And I got all my piping in this big bag. They're all in little bags. And then I put it inside this big bag. I'm using piping tip 193. I've never used it before. So I thought I'd try it out. So can you guys see? Yeah, you can see. So let's go ahead and... Okay, that looks neat. is what she looks like. I think it's pretty. That one messed up a little bit, but it's all right. All right, guys, so uh, I'm not going to put any, well, yeah, let's put a little bit of glitter on it. Just a little bit. That's it. Just the light dusting. All right, guys, so here is my pink sangria. Uh, I'm going to put her to bed and we'll give her a cut tomorrow. So stay tuned for the cut, guys. Hey, Crystal here. And we are back to cut our pink sangria. And here is what it looks like. So pretty. And from the side. Uh, yes, it's called pink sangria. But I thought it would be a little bit too cliche to have the main color pink. So we went with a bunch of really cool colors. Uh, my orange kind of turned a peachy color, if you can see that right there it's not really a bright orange but i think it goes well with the soap it's still a little soft but not too soft to cut let's tighten our wire here all right so let's go ahead and get started and let's get an end piece Ooh, look at that You guys see? Yeah, you can see. Okay. All right. Let's cut into this baby, shall we? Oh, I like it. This was the tiger stripe that I wanted to do, but the scent, the fragrance kind of accelerated on me. But I was bound and determined to get a tiger stripe. So this is kind of a modified tiger stripe. It's still there. And you can see the white in between the different colors and all the pretties. It looks 
but took this out of the mold this morning and it did beautiful it's still a little soft but oh I like I was wanting to do a tiger stripe so bad and I think it's absolutely gorgeous I think it turned out great and I used a new piping tip that I've never used before and I'm in love with it and it mmm it smells oh my gosh anything sangria I'm a sucker for anything sangria berry sangria sangria punch uh, citrus sangria, um, pink sangria, just anything with sangria I'm absolutely in love with. Um, when I was out at the flea market, I sold out of my sangria punch. And I cannot find that fragrance anywhere. And it's driving me absolutely crazy. And there's the top. So I have got to find that fragrance because I need to make some more. My customers really liked it. But yeah, I'm loving the ti modified tiger stripe here. It's not completely a tiger stripe, but it looks good. I think it does. I think it suits the soap perfectly. And I absolutely adore the top. I love this new piping tip. And how that, see how it like gives it a little lines and then poops up, just comes up. I absolutely love that part so I'm gonna have to use that piping tip a little bit more often this is the piece I messed up on the piping it kind of fell over on me as you can see <laughs> but oh it smells so good and I got some steric acid in the other day and I am going to experiment a little bit with some steric acid I always put steric acid in my hot process soaps but I've never tried putting it in my cold process to get them to harden so I'm going to experiment just a little bit with the steric acid and see if I can't get a harder bar of soap I already use sodium lactate and you know the sodium lactate does work to an extent but I want to try the um, steric acid to see if it works any better. But look at those stripes, guys. Isn't that pretty? I was wanting to do a tiger swirl for so long. And every soap I went to go do, I'm like, yes, this is when I'm going to do the tiger swirl. And it was either too thick or it was too thin. So I ended up having to do a drop swirl or a, a dowel swirl or something but with this soap I was bound and determined to get me a tiger stripe and I'm so glad that I done it because I think it turned out wonderful not to mention it smells scrumptious loving these stripes and I think the white in between just gives it that much more pop I really like the white in between those. And I've noticed the key to getting these uh, soaps out of the silicone molds is to wait longer than 24 hours or to pop them in the freezer to where they'll come out easier. I've not done the freezer one yet, but I have been waiting to um, take them out of the silicone mold because when I did my black raspberry vanilla I did it at full water like a dummy I've not done full water in so long but um, uh, I was wanting to do a tiger stripe and didn't want it to thicken up too, too much on me and ended up having to do a drop swirl because it was too thin so uh, anyways this was the making and cutting of my pink sangria uh, I hope you like this video guys and if you want to see future videos for me I like to put some out at least once or twice a week soaping is my love I love to soap it's therapeutic for me um, I soap when I'm mad I'm soap when I'm happy I'm soap when I'm upset I just like to soap period I just love doing it I love making creations and to me it's an art form and I love anything that has to do with art and music and just 
all that kind of stuff. So if you want future videos, just hit the subscribe button, like the video if you liked it, and of course give me a comment down below guys. Love it when you guys comment, it does make my day. So I've got one soap I've got in mind, I've already got my colors picked out, my scent picked out, so we'll see how it goes. So until the next video guys, bye bye.